Hello, sunflowers. Hello, hello. Welcome to Wind Down Wednesday. We're going to be doing cozy crafting tonight and just hanging out and chatting. We are going to be working on a craft that is long overdue to be worked on. Tonight, our cozy craft, we are going to be rolling foam flowers for our flower mirror. And I'm very excited about this, but I do have a devastating piece of news, something very, very sad that I'm very sorry to share. And that is that Josh had to run out tonight and is unable to be here tonight. Therefore, we will be announcing the name of the duck and the cow on Saturday, not tonight. I am so sorry to have to delay it, but it's not fair to announce it without Josh here. <laughs> So we will be doing the announcement on Saturday. I will make sure that it is first thing. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Anna from our sunflower family has been crocheting a cow and a duck and they are friends. And you can see photos of the cow. Anna, have you sent photos of the duck into the Discord yet? I haven't seen it if you have, but the photos are in our Discord. And Anna gave us the honor of naming them. <laughs> but like you said, Josh had to run out tonight. And so he is not here for us to do the announcements of the names. So we're going to be waiting. <laughs> you love my earrings? These earrings come with a very special story. Okay, do you guys know Oddity Draws? Also known as Audrey. Audrey is one of my close friends and her content is incredible. She is like an amazing artist. If you guys don't follow Oddity Draws, go follow Audrey. <laughs> so Audrey... Josh and then Rich, you know, Richard from like from her content, her husband, Richard, we, we were all on a trip together recently and we were at this Christmas fair, like a cute little like winter outdoor holiday market. And they had all kinds of cool things to buy. And we're just looking at things and I'm looking at the earrings because y'all know I love earrings. And Audrey looks at these and she looks at me, looks at these and she goes, she's like, go away. <laughs> and y'all, Audrey bought these for me and she came over and she was like here you go she was like you need them you're always like like you're in the forest <laughs> so Audrey I love you and if you guys don't follow Oddity Draws follow Oddity Draws literally one of my favorite creators ever you're crocheting a cardigan right now that's incredible Oh, you're crocheting a shrug. Love that. I have a shrug I need to finish. I've honestly thought about finishing it on the knitting machine and like doing like a video. Can we combine knitting with crocheting? Because I have like, I have the bralette part of the shrug like done and I have like the, t the top and the back done. I just need the arms. So I'm kind of thinking, hmm, like, can I do it? The discord isn't letting you in. Let me put the discord linked at the top of our chat, make sure it's the updated link. Discord does that thing where the link expires every seven days and then you have to say like, make this a forever link and then sometimes you make it a forever link <laughs> and then for some reason it's like still not a forever link. So I have no clue, but I will be putting the link for the Discord, just a second, in the top of the chat. There is the Discord. Let me see if I can pin it to the top. Let's make sure I don't hit any weird buttons. Was anybody on the live last time? Whenever we just, it just sporadically got canceled. Last live, y'all, I tried to put a poll in the live. And when I clicked, like, to push the poll, it ended our live. And I have no idea why. Okay, now the Discord link is not letting me pin it. Let me try to do it from my phone. <laughs> the Discord link still isn't working. That's wild. I have no idea, Annalise. I'm sorry. No clue why it would not be working. Let me pin it to the top. There we go. The Discord link should now be pinned to the top of the chat. <laughs> um... Can you wait to announce the name once I'm there on Saturday? Of course, Anna. Of course. Would you guys rather we announce the name on next Monday? Because Josh might be joining us for Crochet Monday. Or Monday Crochet. Sorry. That, that sounds cooler. Monday Crochet. I could announce the names on Monday if you guys wanted. It worked that time. Yay! You asked me what was my favorite season. And you were crocheting a cardigan. Yes! Hi, Abby. Is it Abby? Hold on. I got to rearrange. I always sit in funny ways. No, Josh isn't here right now. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> you got sick. I'm sorry. You have the flu. I feel like so many people have the flu right now. I'm so sorry. I just got over COVID and I feel like I'm finally feeling like a full person again, you know? Oh, of course, when I opened up my clay, there's a piece of my hair in the clay because <laughs> my, hair, my hair is everywhere. All right, y'all. This clay. Let's see if I can get some ASMR going on. You can't really hear it, can you? <laughs> so it is like a foam clay and it is amazing. We're going to start by making a bunch of yellow balls for the centers of the flowers. And then tonight we're going to make red, green, and blue flowers. I'm so excited. You just joined the Discord. Thank you so much for joining the Discord. If you guys join the Discord, it is linked at the top. Please make sure that you pop into the rules page and give the rules a quick read. We want to keep everything as safe as we can for everyone. And we do have just like a one strike you're out policy to keep it safe for everybody. And the rules in the Discord are the same as the rules on the live. Hi, Autumn. You're making a temperature blanket right now, Ashley. That's awesome. So for this like foam clay, I literally just take acrylic paint and I put a little bit of paint in the clay and I just swish it together. You are crocheting a habit blanket or you're, you're wanting to, wait, this is so cool. You're wanting to crochet a habit blanket either for this year or next year. Each color represents like <laughs> zero out of five habits. I love that. That is so cool. I've been really, really into like habit tracking lately and journaling and manifesting and all of the good things that get us in the good mind spaces. And I discovered Notion today. Do you guys do Notion? Because y'all, wait, you are 437 days on Duolingo. That's incredible. I didn't break my streak. I'm on day 70. <laughs> I thought about letting it go because I just, I don't know. I felt like I'm not using it enough to be like really learning the language. I was only just doing enough every day to keep my streak, but it's fine. <laughs> I'll be very sad if I give up my 70 day streak for something that only takes me like a minute to do a lesson. I think it needs to be a little bit more, let's make, make it focus. It should be a little bit more yellow. That's kind of like a pale yellow. Let's make it more yellow. Hi, Cheyenne. Hi, Michael or Michelle. Michelle. Hello. Fruit basket says it's 6 08 a.m. in the UAE. Cool. So, I try to have my lives at pretty different times. So our live schedule for now, for the foreseeable future, I will do an announcement if we have to change the live schedule. But it is going to be every Monday. We are doing Monday crochet at 5 p.m. Central Time U.S. Every Wednesday, we're doing Wind Down Wednesday, which is what we're doing right now at 8 p.m. Central U.S. And then Saturdays, we are going to be doing Whimsical Weekend which will be at 2 p.m. Central. So 2 p.m. Central should still be early enough in like the UK and um, which a, a lot of our friends are in the UK. 5 a.m. for you. Wow. <clears throat> You're going to follow me. Thank you. Oh, on Duolingo. Yes. You guys can follow me on Duolingo. It should just be Haliana. Hmm. This is a little bit prettier of a yellow, right? Not looking more like a yellow. You have an 11 day streak, that's awesome. Hey, look, I just got a notification on Duolingo. Is that you? <laughs> I will say your username out loud just in case. Yay! Duolingo friends. <laughs> Discord says it's unable to accept the invite. I'm sorry, I don't know why. Have you ever been in our Discord? I know, I still want it to be more yellow. I want to have some drastically yellow centers to our flowers. I just got another notification on Duolingo. It's 3 a.m. in Sweden in the moment. Oh, my goodness. See, this is why I'm glad that I'm doing lives at a lot of different times. So you guys can hopefully all make it in different time zones. The duck is in the Discord and you're making a cowboy hat. Wait, is the duck a cowboy? Is it a cowboy duck? Because this might change things. Right now I am dyeing foam clay yellow. Technically I'm mixing like acrylic paint into it. I didn't crochet this. I did, I don't know where this came from. I've had it for a long time. Um, 
where did this come from? I know I was shopping with my friend Lydia whenever I did this, when I got this, but I don't know where we bought it. <laughs> it's looking pretty yellow. And I like how it kind of looks like swirl. Like whenever we do the petals, we'll make them very swirled. So we need bigger flowers for our mirror. We're working on our flower foam flower mirror. You've not been on the Discord. I don't know. Because I was wondering if like a couple of people at one point got like banned by like accident. And so we let them, you know, like back in. Is that too big? No, nah, that looks good. All right. Make a bunch of centers for our flowers. <clears throat> Ooh, should you make the duck a sunflower? That'd be super cute. Like for it to carry a sunflower. That'd be adorable. So the foam flowers, if you guys haven't seen the video, I've been making a foam flower mirror. And um, I am obsessed with it. The disco mushrooms are still not done. You guys, you know this. You know how bad I am at finishing crafts. <laughs> we start all the different crafts on this channel and we finish some of them. I do have a plan though this week. <sighs> Since we're snowed in. <laughs> well, kind of snowed in. Like Josh was able to... Um, was able to leave, but it was like really, really difficult. He had to go very, 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 very slow. But like I said, he had to leave. Um, so I'm not leaving the house. I'm not driving this. <laughs> but I am. I don't even want to tell you guys what I'm going to finish this week. There's a very big project that has been ongoing for a very long time that I think I'm finally able to finish this week. And I'm, oh no, I dropped it on the floor. Hold on. I'm very excited about it. Ooh, you're crocheting a storage hammock. Oh, for like fruit? See how dirty my floors are. Hey, not bad. When you drop the stuff, it sticks to whatever it lands on. So if there's like dirt or like hair or whatever, you know, you're still on season three, episode one of the hundred. Autumn, catch up. We have to talk about the hundred. You're making a headwig. Are you crocheting a headwig? That's so cute. This is gonna be a big flower. That's the center of it, but that's okay. We want some really big flowers. So another thing, you can't let them touch. These guys cannot touch. They will stick together. That's how we're going to secure them together when we make the petals. All right. We need to do a, we need to do a poll. Let's hopefully not turn off the entire live. Yes. Okay, cool. All right. We're going to do a poll. Next, the first flower, should it be red? We only have three, these three colors right now because these are the three I need to make more of for the mirror. Red, blue, or green. Um... What color flower first? I'm going to start a poll and you guys are going to decide what color flowers we do first. Hi, Amber. I'm lovely. How are you? You're crocheting roses for your mom's small business for Valentine's Day. Lucy, that's amazing. Nora, I'm glad the poll worked too. You guys, okay, I have a confession. I kind of think it wasn't YouTube's fault. I think it was my fault because I was thinking back through. I literally replayed the moment of when our live ended like... I replayed it like 10 times. I was like, how in the world did I accidentally exit out of the live? And I was thinking about everything. And I was thinking about like, what did I click? I think my headphones that were sitting over here might have hit the exit button on the keyboard when I leaned forward. Maybe I knocked the headphones into the keyboard and maybe the exit button actually ends your live because I don't know maybe it does I don't, I don't I don't know everything about YouTube so I think it might not have been YouTube's fault it might have been my fault <laughs> it was probably a user error like let's be real all right friends we only have one more center of the flower to roll after this one so make sure that you vote on the poll if you haven't voted yet <laughs> have we finished the temperature blanket yet we have not but Every single Monday, we are doing Monday crochet, where we are crocheting together until we get the temperature blanket completed. So I'm going to send the link for next week's live Monday crochet into the chat on our live. Let's see. So if you guys have not clicked notify me yet on next week's live for Monday cro crochet, <laughs> you can click the link that I just put into the chat and click the button that says notify me right there. Just clicked notify me myself. <laughs> so notify me and a notification will be sent whenever the live starts. You're crocheting your temperature blanket and you're on March 21st. So is that of what year? 
All right, friends, has everybody voted? I'm about to end the poll. If you haven't voted yet, vote fast. All right, you got three seconds. Three, two, one. We're ending the poll, and it looks like Blue is the winner. <laughs> Chunky Monkey and Anna. Chunky Monkey and Anna, you guys have been on, I think, like every live ever almost. Hi, Tracy. Um, uh, where is, is, is it Ron Rhonda? No. Yeah, right? I feel like Rhonda said they've been on like every live this year or something. So I wonder if they're here yet. You've only missed three since 2022. Anna, you're awesome. Um, you are crocheting a headwig. That's so cool. I have a terrifying head headwig somewhere. I might have eventually gotten rid of the terrifying headwig. So <laughs> it was like, not like a plush headwig. It was kind of like, it had like feathers. <laughs> and it was just like a decoration that was a headwig. And I don't know, its eyes fell off at some point. <laughs> it was really cheap. And then I just still kept it like sitting because I liked having like an owl sitting in my living room because of course, and y'all, it was really scary looking. It was an owl with like no eyes. Okay. I think we're going to need some more than that. This clay is honestly the, the top part has kind of dried out to where I don't want to use it. It's kind of thick. So we're going to toss the top part. I've had the lid on, but this clay I've had since before Christmas, since we were working on it before Christmas. Uh-oh, we have we got something coming in. Something coming in live in the chat. Live in the chat. Looks like Nora is now requesting a very special shout out. Oh, and we got another one coming in from Lucy. Lucy as well is requesting a special shout out. And so is Chunky Monkey. And so is Anna. So all of these lovely people in the chat have requested a shout out to a very special planet. Shout out to planet Earth. <laughs> <laughs> y'all I've been publishing all of my lives recently <laughs> so you guys can watch them if you miss them and people have been like can someone explain the shout out to planet earth joke and I'm like I don't know if I can I don't know if I can explain it <laughs> so I'm going through and finding the pieces that have completely dried out to throw them out that's what's happening right now oh my goodness hi again Danny <laughs> Hello, Mushroom. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Lotion or sanitizer softens that kind of clay. That's awesome. Um, I don't want to mix with the texture too much since it's being added to a project that already, like, exists. But that is good to know for the future. And I'm only taking out the parts that are, like, completely, like, basically dried out. You are working on your 2024 temperature blanket, Jenna. That's amazing. I have to crochet. Oh my gosh. You made a cow cupcake. That's incredible. I love that. All right. I'm going to mix the rest of this clay together because the bottom is very wet and the top is very dry. So if I kind of mush all together, look at this slime though. Like this looks like slime. I'm in slime heaven right now. This is... This is my favorite clay ever. This stuff is expensive. This stuff is way more expensive than I wish that it was. I don't know if I have the original Planet Earth live. The original Planet Earth live, wasn't I in my hammock in the backyard maybe? Something like that? I think it was. Hello, Lila. Hello. Is it Sean? Hello, Michael. I'm sorry if I'm saying everyone's names wrong. I am just assuming that I usually say everyone's names wrong. Guys, look at this. Come on, camera, focus. Oh, ready? Ready for it? <laughs> Our flower mirror shall live. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have to wait for Catherine to be here before we do a shout out to the moon for Catherine. <laughs> I don't have a cat. Nope, no pets here. Sadly. Eventually, hopefully. You may see some some pets on my profile. I pet sit for my aunt who has amazing critters of different types. Three cats, two dogs, and two horses. So if you ever see those adorable creatures on my page, they are not mine. But I do get to pet sit sometimes. The original planet Earth, yeah, live was on Earth Day of last year, and I was gardening. That makes sense. All right. It was blue, right? We vote blue. 
Give me a blue emoji if we voted blue. I think it was blue. I didn't make my bandana. We were trying to remember where I bought it earlier. I remember the day that I bought it. I know that I was shopping with my friend Lydia and I bought it thinking, oh, I should learn how to make this. <laughs> it's just three full gra granny squares and then two half granny squares. I've just, I've never made half a granny square. Okay, it was blue. Cool. <laughs> Thank you guys. Aw, sending love to your mamas. Sorry to hear that. Can we prank Scott? Okay. Um, I only like kind pranks. Can we do a kind prank to Scott? Can everyone go to Scott's newest video and comment that he should learn how to crochet? Because <laughs> remember, I only like kind pranks. Can Let me send the link for Scott's newest video. Let me see which one it is. I think that would be amazing. So Scott has pranked us a few times in the past. Is, was anybody in here in on Scott's prank where he sent he sent everyone over to say to say that sunflowers were now illegal and I couldn't plant them this year? I got hundreds of comments. Okay, I'm gonna send Scott's newest video into the into the chat. So Scott is Scott Frenzel and he's my bestie and he's an amazing content creator and we have a lot of the same audience like a lot of y'all follow Scott <laughs> and we have kind of a kind prank war going on. <laughs> the gumball one. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the gumball one. Okay, so everybody go comment on that video from Scott and say and say that he needs to learn how to crochet. <laughs> Comment on Scott's video and say he should learn to crochet. <laughs> you were there for the gumball one. Wait, what was the gumball one? Was it that the gum? Oh, I needed a license to have my gumball machine. Is that what it was? Oh my gosh. So I gotta tell you the funniest thing about the first time you guys pranked me with Scott. So the sunflowers was the first time. And so we never pranked each other before. And we talk every day. Like Scott and I talk all the time. And so when I started getting those comments, I took a bunch of screenshots and I sent them to him. And I was like, Scott, this is wild. What is going on? This is crazy. Look at how many, look at how many comments I'm getting about sunflowers being illegal, but I can't find anything on Google. I, I fell for it. I completely fell for the prank. And Scott felt so bad. And he was like, oh my gosh. He's like, that was us. I'm sorry. <laughs> So um, it was really funny. Greenhouse Academy. Oh my gosh, I didn't. What is that on? I mean, that immediately sounds like something that I would like. <laughs> you were there for the gumball one? That's awesome. Sorry, I'm thinking I need, I have tissues here for the paint. Okay. No, I haven't. Um, I haven't seen that. I honestly haven't really been watching TV much lately. I don't know. Do I play Minecraft? Very poorly. <gasps> Look at that. Look at this. <sighs> Try to get it in focus. Mm, it looks so cool. <laughs> you guys, I'm I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> I'm just obsessed right now. Oh no! See, this is why I wanted to get the. <laughs> Get the tissue ready to wipe the paint off of me. Should have brought paper towels up here with me. <laughs> Hello, King of ADHD. That literally looks so cool. All right, so we don't want to mix it up completely. I want there to be like a little bit of swirl. A little bit of swirl. You made a cow cupcake? That's awesome. You just finished crocheting a scrunchie. Cool. You love the mushroom table. Thank you. Hopefully it'll be done one of these days, but you guys know how long it takes me to do any project ever. <laughs> a long time. <laughs> the giraffe is sunny. You're seeing all the crochet comments on the video. We can't call him because then he'll know it was us. 
then you'll know it was us. I actually don't know what Scott's up to today. Um, I haven't talked to him since last night. <laughs> I need to make foam flower earrings. That's a great idea. Somebody needs to send me that in the Discord so I don't forget it. Can somebody pop in the Discord and say, Holly, don't forget to do foam flower earrings? Because that is a great idea. When are we going to finish the temperature? Uh, the <laughs> I'm so used to saying temperature blanket that I just... <laughs> and I said, when are you going to finish the temperature blanket when you asked? When <laughs> are you going to finish the patchwork jacket? So every single Monday, we are doing a new live stream series called Monday Crochet at 5 p.m. Central Time. Quick pause to appreciate the swirl. Look how cute that is. <laughs> Attaching it to the flower. <laughs> And on our Monday crochet live streams, we are first going to be finishing the temperature blanket. And when we finish the temperature blanket, we are going to use all of the leftover yarn from the temperature blanket to make the rest of the patchwork jacket. Friends, friendly a reminder, please do not spam in here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How did I make the candles in the background? Yeah, so they're just like generic like candles on Amazon that are like battery powered. And then I tied fishing string around them and I tied the fishing string to a 3M strip on the ceiling. Ooh, this is a good swirl. Look how pretty it is. Let's see which sides are prettiest. Ooh, look at that. So this is why the flower mirror has taken so long. Do you guys see how long it has taken <laughs> to make one flower? <laughs> it takes so long. I'm so excited for the, the patchwork jacket too. How's my hair journey going? It's going good. We cut off an inch and a half the other day. I did a couple of videos recently. One was of like cutting and measuring my hair and one was of my full hair care routine updated since we are snowed in. And I was like, oh, this will be fun. See, and then I have this problem where I make a, I make a, a flower petal and then I will realize it's too big. So then what I have to do is I have to pinch part of it off. Then I have to roll it some more. It takes so long. The giraffe's name is Sunny. Sunny of the sunflower family. They are our mascot. What color should you do for your new card again? Okay, everybody in the chat put emojis of whatever color you think, um, I'm sorry, I can't read your color from here. Disala? Yes. Uh, cardigan should be, I'm sorry, I think I still said your name wrong. <laughs> but what color should they crochet a cardigan? Ooh, we're getting a lot of blue votes. Blue and purple, wait, okay. Low key blue and purple combined is like one of my favorite color combinations. Lots of blues and purples, some pinks. All right. Ooh, green and purple. What about either green and purple or blue and purple? Give you three colors. Okay, let's do blue, green, and purple because that is, those colors together are so gorgeous, I think. But also like it's your cardigan. So like also pick colors that you are really excited about. <laughs> Yay, look at our flower. Uh oh, is it sticking together? Yeah, it can't be dry when it sticks together. So I gotta make sure I keep going fast. Help Scott makes a video. You hope Scott makes a video on the crochet comments. Oh my gosh. Okay. We got to keep recruiting people to continue the prank. So if you guys don't know, if you're just joining, Scott Frenzel is like one of my best friends in the world. He's also an amazing content creator. And Scott and I have a kind prank war going on. And so everybody is going to Scott's newest video. Let me get the link again and send the link again for Scott's newest video. Everyone is going to Scott's newest video. I mean, or commented on all his videos if you want, but mainly the newest video. <laughs> and uh, comment, Scott, you need to learn how to crochet or please learn how to crochet or anything like that. So here's the video for Scott. Tell Scott to learn to <laughs> crochet. Um, hey friends, just a reminder, if you send a bunch of things like spammed together, um, YouTube will automatically hide it and it won't go through. So just send like shorter messages <laughs> if you want them to go through. You did it, Steel Squad, yay! 
how did you decide to call your fans sunflowers? I didn't decide that. You guys did. <laughs> I honestly don't know how it happened. It just started, it just started being the sunflower family. Like sunflowers are my favorite flower. And we were planting sunflowers that year. I did the sunflower car. I decorated my car full of sunflowers. It just kind of slowly built on itself. Yeah, but it really wasn't me who did that. It was really you guys. <laughs> What is my YouTube plaque on the wall? That is my um, 100,000 plaque. It's the silver one, which I cannot believe that we are getting close to a million. That's wild. So I'm hoping to get that one this year. That is the, that is the, the gold plaque. We have to have like an unboxing party. Yes, Anna, I already added it to my bullet journal today. <laughs> I was bullet journaling this morning, doing my like affirmations and planning out the day. And I was like, I'm going to go check my YouTube and see if I can add to it. And I literally was like, yay, I get to add to it. Yay, flower. Flower number one is complete. I've already made like 50 of these, y'all. These take so long to make. Everyone's like, why isn't it done? I'm like, because it takes so long. <laughs> Hello, Gemma. Okay. Let's make a little bit of a smaller one with this middle. Um, okay, we're gonna use the rest of the blue clay before we can move on to another color. So uh, let me, I think I can get two more flowers out of this blue clay. She was a fairy. <laughs> you wanna see the continuation of the disco mushrooms? Me too, me too. I actually got them out today and was looking at them thinking about, I need to finish this. And they're falling apart, like those, Disco tiles just did not stay on very well. I mean, some of it I had glued on with like E6000 and now I'm kind of regretting it because now I'm kind of wishing that I had just straight up, um, what is it called? Uh, rhinestoned the whole thing. I think that a rhinestone mushroom would be really, really cool. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. The bathroom is pretty much done. Like I haven't added anything to the bathroom since I think I showed it to you guys. I changed out the handles for frogs. I put greenery across the top. I have like a shelf that's shaped like a moth for my crystals. I have and succulents, of course, and a tiny rubber ducky, of course. Um, what else we do? We have the crown wall. We have crown wall. We have the snail soap dispenser. Yeah, I mean, really, the bathroom is is pretty much how I want it to be. Rhinestones on top of the disco balls. <laughs> Rhonda is here. Rhonda, were you taught? Were you here earlier when we were talking about you? We were literally saying that Anna's only missed two lives since 2022, and I was like, "Is Rhonda here? Rhonda has been to every live this year so far." All right, adding on another flower. These are so pretty. Look at that swirl. I like the swirl ones a lot. Did you guys see the video where I first made the flower mirror and it all fell apart? It was kind of funny. What is on the shelf on the wall at the bottom? It's Grogu, Baby Yoda. Let's see if I can make my face defocus. No, I can't. thought if I hid my face, it would defocus. We've got Grogu. We've got, um, it's like a moon thing that lights up, but I never charge it. <laughs> and then above that is a candle. And then another thing that's, the okay, the yellow thing is a candle. The black thing with the white thing coming out of it, that's like an ink quill thing, but it's not actually ink. It's like um, a smell diffuser. And then above that is a unicorn snow globe. And the unicorn um, is like missing a leg, I think. I found it at a thrift store. I thought it was cool. And then above that is a little bouquet of plastic sunflowers that Josh got me and some books. Oh my gosh, and it's my first, it's the first Hunger Games book, you guys. I was literally thinking about reading the Hunger Games to you guys if you wanted me to on some lives, and I couldn't find my first Hunger Games book, and it's right there. I forgot that it was up here. Would you guys like a reading live? Like, I promise I'm, I'm pretty good at voices and stuff. <laughs> You're reading that right now? It's awesome. And I feel like The Hunger Games would be a fun book because um, 
<laughs> oh yay you guys are saying yes oh my goodness I feel like the Hunger Games will be fun because the new movie just came out and because a lot of people have already read it or know the story at least so it wouldn't be like spoiling it I don't know I think that it could be fun maybe next wind down Wednesday maybe we'll do the Hunger Games you're crocheting coasters for your room and you just finished your hanging plant for your room that's awesome you're still reading the Hunger Games awesome I haven't read it in like over a decade. I read it when the first movie came out. I was in college and I saw the movie and I was like, I need to know everything. So in one week I read all the books. You just watched the first movie. Awesome. Team PETA. Absolutely. Team PETA. I don't get Gail at all. Does anyone here like Gail? Like, can we do a PETA versus Gail vote? I'm sorry. This is one of those, like, usually with, like, love triangles in the books. I'm like, oh, yeah, I get it. Peta or Gail. I mean, no judgment if you choose Gail. I'm just so confused, personally. I have read Twilight. Yeah. <laughs> right? I don't understand. Peta is wonderful. Okay. This one's really pretty. Kind of looks like an ocean. Come on, focus. There we go. See how it kind of looks like an ocean? I love it. Uh-oh. These flowers are different sizes, but you know what? Yeah, actually, we have to fix it. That flower was too big. 90% for PETA. Uh, do I like to read? Yes. I, um... I really do a lot of audiobooks, which don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Audiobooks are reading if you also love audiobooks. <laughs> um, I do read like physical books too. I love this. Oh no, I dropped the flower. I dropped the whole flower. I read a lot of physical books too. I just prefer audiobooks. Okay, Edward or Jacob is funny for me. Okay, keep in mind I haven't read the books since I was in literal high school. Hold on, wait me end the poll. Did everybody vote for Peter versus Gail? You got like five more seconds to vote for Peter versus Gail. And then I'm gonna go to Edward <laughs> versus Jacob. Okay, ready? So I haven't read the book since I was in high school. Keep in mind. But which is 12 plus years ago. I probably read Twilight 15 years ago wild. Um, from the books, I remember being team Edward. But from the movies, team Jacob, like all the way, like <laughs> Conrad or Jeremiah, 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 for sure. He was just a, like a kinder human. You must sleep. Go to sleep. My favorite project that I've done? Oh, goodness. I don't know. Um, the archway was really cool. Making the arch was amazing. Today was your first day of college. Congratulations. That's so exciting. That's really exciting. I should crochet my giraffe scarf. <laughs> I know we really need to. Why did I start crocheting? Because my Ganny taught me. You want to watch Twilight? You always forget about it, so you've never seen it. I get that. Wow, Jacob is winning. That actually shocks me. <laughs> we are making flowers, foam flowers, for our foam flower mirror we've been on live for 39 minutes and we've only made two these take so long if you're going to make a foam flower mirror i just have to warn you it takes a long time because then each of these has to dry for like four or five days before you can put it on the mirror which you know that takes a while okay um 
We need to make a tiny bit more blue because I don't want to waste this, but it's not quite enough to make five petals. So let's make a little bit more blue. What happened to crochet? Did you come to our Monday crochet? Every Monday we crochet together here on live. Let's mix the blue with this white and not add any more blue in though. So it'll be even more swirled. These streams are so calming. Yay, that's the whole goal. That makes me happy. Steph and her Damon. I'm team Damon personally. <laughs> Hi, people of interest. All right, let's, we can do Steph and her Damon. We're just doing all of like the love triangle, like <laughs> this or this. Okay, one. Once I get kind of to a lower amount, I try to go ahead and split them into five pieces before I put them into balls. What did you miss? We are making foam flowers for our foam flower mirror. And they're really, really pretty, but it's been 40 minutes and we've only made two and they have to dry for four days before I can put them on the mirror. So if you're going to do this project, it takes a very long time. <laughs> I don't know Cole or Alex. We gotta wait until season two comes out. Gotta wait until season two. <laughs> Damon and Stefan um, are characters from uh, from I almost said Twilight, not Twilight, the other vampire one, Vampire Diaries, which is a book series slash TV show. I've only seen the TV show. If I'm being honest, I could not get into the books. <laughs> but we're just doing like book love triangles, like who should they have ended up with kind of a thing. Do you think that Elena should have ended up with Stefan or Damon? <laughs> what is my skincare routine? Oh, uh, not much. <laughs> I don't know. Recently, I've just been putting like castor oil on my face. I don't know if I'm supposed to or not. I use snail mucin sometimes. That's like the only like kind of fancy thing that I've gotten. My face is shiny. Thanks. I'm like, I turned 31 a couple weeks ago. I'm like, I need, I need to, I need a better skincare routine. <laughs> Peter or Lois. Who's that from? Who are, who are Peter and Lois? I don't know who that is. Should Hermione have ended up with Harry or Ron? Oh, Ron, a thousand percent. I love Harry and Hermione's friendship. I think that it is just a beautiful friendship. Got another person in the 30s in the house. It's one of my favorite things about the Sunflower family because like... I don't know, I feel like we are just all ages of cozy folk who just like hanging out and crafting. Katniss or Lucy Gray. I haven't seen the new Hunger Games yet. No spoilers, please. Okay. We have three. Three flowers made. <laughs> all right, friends, we got to do another poll. We have shiny metallic green. If I can get it to focus. See how it's kind of metallic-y? And then we have vermilion red. So, you know what's funny? I used to be self-conscious about my nails because I do a lot of crafting videos. You see my hands up close in a lot of videos. And then somebody left me a comment and they were like, your nails make me feel better about myself. Thank you for not having your nails always perfectly done. <laughs> and they were saying that it's nice to see someone with natural nails. <laughs> and you know, that made me feel a lot better about my nails because everyone does have their nails done now. It's wild. People didn't used to always have their nails done. And that makes me sound really old. Back in my day, people didn't used to always have their nails done. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, what was the poll I was about to do? Oh, I was going to do the colors. Wait, hold on. We got to pause all of the the, the the fiction books for one second. We got to do red versus green for what color flowers we're doing next. Red versus green. Okay. 
inspired you to start a garden and crochet, Georgia. That makes me so happy. Thank you for telling me. I haven't read Percy Jackson or seen the new show yet. I have only seen the old movie, which, yeah, um, it was, it was honestly like so much better than I thought it was going to be based on like what people had told me about the old movie. But um, people have said that the new show is really good. All right. Not that much clay. Because why not? We're using foam clay. The foam clay is awesome. I love this stuff. How many Georgias are there in here? I don't know. Do the raise your hand emoji if your name is Georgia. <laughs> Can we play finish the lyrics? Probably not because I don't know the lyrics to that much stuff. But you guys should follow Scott Frenzel if you're not already following him because he does a lot of live streams on Kahoot. Is that what it's called? And on the cahoots, they do a lot of like finish the lyrics. <gasps> Wait, okay, hold on. How many of you guys know Scott's song, Sugar High? Let me know, like put a candy emoji if you guys know the song for Sugar High. Because I feel like we can like make a short for Scott. If you guys can do finish the lyrics with Scott's song. Oh, I've never opened this. We gotta open it. Okay, so finish, finish the lyric, Sugar High Edition. Loving like this is bound to put it in the comments. <laughs> Loving like this is bound to crash. Okay, summers will always finish. Summers will always finish <laughs> fast. <laughs> oh no, now I'm blanking on the lyrics. I've heard this a million times. Something like this is bound to crash. Summers will always finish fast. Savor the feeling while it. <laughs> Last, because you're my sugar, you're my sugar. Finish the lyric. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> exactly. Good job. You guys all did the song. Okay. Now, if you're just not joining, but if you know Scott, we are currently playing a prank on Scott. A kind prank, but a prank where everyone is going to Scott's newest video. I'm going to send the link one more time. You can put it on any of his videos, all of his videos, but mainly the newest one. <laughs> Comment on this video of Scott's and say, Scott, you should learn how to crochet or you really need to learn how to crochet. You should crochet something. <laughs> so keep pranking Scott. I still haven't gotten a text from him yet. He's going to know what happened. He's got to know. I love Meredith and Lexi. How do I choose? Scott is Scott Frenzel. He's another content creator here on YouTube, another YouTuber, and we are besties. And so we've just kind of started like a very silly prank war. It all started when he had his live stream come comment on my video that uh, planting sunflowers was going to be made illegal. <laughs> and then he did another one that was like, oh, what was the other one? The gumball machine where he said... You have to have a license to have a gumball machine. <laughs> what does YouTube mean? Um, so if you guys don't know this, the tube is what people used to call television because televisions ran with what was called a tube. It's like literally like a tube. It's like a glass tube that would like help them run. I don't know how to explain it technically. But um, yeah, so so YouTube is like you television. That's where the name originated for YouTube. <laughs> Your comments froze, oh no. Anybody else's comments freeze? I actually bought a circular knitting machine recently. I wanna do a video trying it out and seeing if I like it. I don't know if it's green enough. It's kinda of like a pretty mint green right now. Kinda of want it to be more green. 
You're crocheting a rainbow blanket because you gave up on your temperature blanket. That's the most relatable thing I've ever heard. But if anybody is currently working on a temperature blanket, and if you would like to have a little support system, every single Monday we are doing Monday crochet until we finish our temperature blankets. And then all of the other projects that we've been putting off working on. So... <laughs> Every Monday at 5 p.m. Central, come and join us for Monday Crochet, and we will all finish our temperature blankets together. You made your first chain today? Amazing. Please create a YouTube play button. <laughs> What do you mean by create a YouTube play button? Let's brainstorm this because I like I like the I like this idea. Like, should I crochet a YouTube play button? <laughs> That'd be really funny. Um, y'all, we're gonna probably pause on the on the um polls for a bit, but maybe next time. When you get a million subs, you should crochet a golden play button and then do is it real or crochet? <laughs> I love that. Can somebody put that idea in the Discord? <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh my goodness. You're going to be here for Monday crochet. Yay! I'll just set my flowers off to the side because I don't want them to stick to the green flowers. This green is so pretty. It's baby Yoda green. My favorite color green. Eat the YouTube cookie. No, I'm not going to be eating the YouTube cookie. I love y'all, but no. That cookie is over a year old we will not be eating the youtube cookie no where is it i have one hanging on the wall but i had two of them maybe it's gone maybe josh ate it i'm just kidding he would not eat that <laughs> uh, have you ever thought of making rugs as a rug maker hmm. did i maybe put it in my amazon wish list yesterday maybe 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 now i really want to get a tufting gun the things that you make the rugs with I think it's so cool. I've gotten really into punch needle lately, but it's kind of hard to punch needle like an entire rug because it would just take forever. So I really, really want to get a tufting gun to make all custom rugs eventually for the house. I think that would be incredible. Flower. So pretty. Um, you're... Wait, what? Your mom calls you a granny for crocheting. Hey, that was literally my, my nickname in high school for a hot second was grandma. So <laughs> I wore my glasses and a cardigan to school on the same day and grandma stuck, but I just played into it. You know, it was great. <laughs> Please teach you how to crochet. Y'all, can I teach you how to crochet? Hold on, hold on. Can I teach you how to crochet? Let's let's go to go to YouTube and search Holiana crochet. And let's let's get the tutorial. Let's this one. This is the good one. I don't think you can see what's on my phone because it's too bright. Let me send the good ones link to you guys on the live. Here it is. How to crochet for absolute beginners. That's okay if you miss the live. There will always be another live. And I know we have these three scheduled lives. We're probably going to still do some random lives here and there and everywhere. I think we're going to move. So I was going to be releasing a new YouTube video every Sunday. I think I'm going to release it every Monday and release it right after our Monday crochet live. That way we can all just go straight into the premiere together and watch it together and stay in the chat. I think that's going to be fun, but I'm still figuring out the logistics of that. <laughs> <laughs> your mom calls you a granny for crochet and baking cookies nearly 14 hey i love it let's just be the grandma club we're the grandma club don't matter that i'm 31 you're 14 like <laughs> how do i do my makeup so fun fun funny funny thing i actually sort of did a makeup tutorial but not actually um in my last hair video It'll be under like the video section, not shorts, but under videos on my page. It'll be my most recent upload. I did a video that shows you my full hair routine. And while we were waiting for my hair to dry, I did my makeup and I show you like just in general, like how I do my makeup. Because I do really basic of like all the main stuff. Like I only do concealer. I don't do any foundation. I do blush and then I do colorful eyeshadow, do some fluffy brows and that's about it. Mascara. 
and bottom bottom mascara. I love bottom mascara. Tonight I have lip gloss on because it felt pretty. That's too big. A little bit smaller. What is my favorite movie? My favorite movie is called Arrival. It's about aliens and linguistics. Yours is a Princess Bride and Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I love that. <laughs> you should make a YouTube intro that goes, hey, grannies, today we will. <laughs> I love it. That's so cute. So cute. Flower. I've actually never seen the Lorax. Why, have, why did I miss the Lorax? You guys ever have movies like that where you just missed it somehow? Like you didn't see it when it came out? The Lorax was one of those movies for me. I don't know how to explain it. I just missed it. Flower gleam and glow. Let your magic shine. Is that a good Mother Gotha voice? Make the clock reverse. <laughs> kind of lost it. <laughs> Bring back what once was mine. <laughs> kind of sounds like a monster Gothel. <laughs> Um, I did not make my earrings. If you missed the story earlier, so a cute story with my earrings. Um, I don't know if you guys know Oddity Draws. If you don't go follow Oddity Draws, she's amazing. And um, she's one of my close friends. And she, <laughs> I was at like a winter market with her and Rich, her husband and Josh, of course. And I was looking at all the earrings and I was like, oh, these are so cute. And she was like, these look like you. She was like, you're always so foresty. And... <laughs> She snuck and bought them for me and then gave them to me later. It was so cute. <coughs> you started laughing when I did the Mother, mother Gothel voice. Um, I like doing voices. Voices are fun. Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. Oh, flower. <laughs> I like doing voices. I want to get better at them. I feel like if I actually really practiced voices, I could get like good at 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 voices. Thirty. You look twenty. <laughs> I'm practicing not saying thank you when people tell me I look younger than I am because we're all getting old. Aging is a wonderful privilege, and it's okay if I look thirty because I am actually I'm not thirty. I'm thirty one. <laughs> But I understand that you mean it as a compliment, so thank you. We're adding more to our green because, 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 because I need more to be able to make enough petals. The voice is good. It sounds like a filter. Thank you. Do I crochet or anything like that? Guys, do I crochet? Do, ho hold on. Hold on. Wait. This is, this is the story of being a crafting YouTuber. My camera is laying on top of my temperature blanket. And so is my punch needle. Do I? I'm just dropping stuff at this point. Do I crochet? The question isn't, do I crochet? The question is, do I ever finish my projects? That's a very different answer. <laughs> Oh, guys, it's Kathy's first time here. Kathy, welcome to the Sunflower family or the Granny Club. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Kathy's Crochet Corner. Um, I'm Hollyana. We are the Sunflower family. Yes, we do crochet. And every Monday, we are doing a live stream at 5 p.m. Central Time where we crochet together called Monday Crochet. So tonight, we're just making foam flowers. But come back and crochet with us on Monday. Welcome, welcome. Have I ever tried punch needle? I wonder how many of these in a row we can do. I have all the crafts laying around. Have I tried punch needle? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hold on. I got microphones laying on the floor. You guys, once again, being a crafting YouTuber. I don't have any siblings. I don't. I do like, I do like punch needle. Have I ever tried making a flower mirror? <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't knit though. No, I mean, technically I, I know how, but I'm very bad at it. So I just say no. <laughs> you fell on the ice today. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my goodness. What are my plans for a million subs? I want to meet a giraffe. 
<laughs> we got Sunny of the Sunflower family when we hit 100,000. And I think that it'd be amazing to meet a real giraffe whenever we hit a million. But I don't know. I have not made a carpet, but that is on my list. Um, I, Josh's sisters have kids. So I am still Auntie Holly. Um, your cousins are coming over for a sleepover. A sleepover! That's awesome. I love that. I love that it's becoming a trend for like people in their 20s and 30s, like girls to just do sleepovers like old school. Like my friends and I have been like joking about just doing like a blanket fort and like <laughs> doing like a real old school sleepover. It'd be really fun. Do I finish my projects? Do I finish my projects? I don't. I don't. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, I'm very bad at finishing projects. And that's okay. That's okay. It means I'm just a classic crafter. Y'all, if anyone in the room is a crafter who actually finishes the project that they start before they start a new one, I'm just so impressed. Just literally so impressed. <laughs> Stepping on something you crochet would break your heart. So I would do, um, like, for a rug, I don't think I would probably crochet a rug. I mean, I could a crochet rug I think I would do a punch needle rug with like one of the tufting guns uh, the things that are like and you like it pushes the little pieces of yarn through the I think it's called monk's cloth and then you like glue down the back and you make a rug goodbye Amy you also run a business you have to finish them that is the thing we were literally talking about the other day on our live, we were like, the only projects I finished last year, rather than the gigantic sweater, I finished that, rather than the gigantic sweater, I think the only crochet projects I finished last year were for other people. I made so many, like, gifts for other people last year. I made a couple baby blankets, multiple, multiple hats, some water bottle holders, a purse. Like, I made so many projects for other people, but I didn't finish anything for myself. Oh, my goodness. You're 12 when you crochet and the kids at school call you grandma. <laughs> I love that. That you respond when they say that. Being in a grandma voice. Oh, Sunny, do you want me to make a hat for you? I love that. Yeah, no. I used to get called grandma in high school too. That thing was, I wasn't even crocheting then. I just, there was one day when I wore my glasses and a cardigan together. And everyone's like, hi, grandma. The 2000s were a different time. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Knitting or crocheting pole? All right. Let's do it. I always feel bad for knitting when we do this, guys. <laughs> Tell the new people out, Becca. All right. If you're new here, if this is your first time ever in this live, can you send a chicken emoji? Or if you don't, it's okay. I understand if you, if you don't want to. <laughs> if you don't want to, but... If you're new here, they want me to tell you about Becca. So Becca is my chicken purse. I have a chicken purse and her name is Becca, as in Becca, you know. <laughs> it's not an original joke. I don't know where it originally came from, but it's 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 not mine. But Becca. <laughs> I think it was from a TV show. There was a chicken named Becca. Becca. I don't know. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we have so many new people in here. Okay, let's say hi to the new friends. Hello, the frog. Hello, fun times. Hello, football fan. Hello, Karen. Hello, Kelly. Hello, sunflower. Welcome to the sunflower family. And hello to softball Tay Tay and Hannah. Hello, friends. Welcome to the sunflower family. I am Haliana, and we are finally on a live stream schedule. That was my resolution <laughs> for the year was to get on a posting schedule and a live stream schedule. And we all fun times. <laughs> fun times, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the live. So we're finally on the live stream and a posting schedule. We are live streaming every Monday at 5 p.m. for Monday Crochet. On Wednesday evenings like tonight, we are doing Wind Down Wednesday where we might be reading The Hunger Games, apparently. That might be happening. We might do cozy crafting like we've done tonight, making flowers for our flower mirror. And then on Saturdays, we're doing the Whimsical Weekend, where most likely most likely on Saturdays at 2 p.m. we will be doing cozy gaming. But my live streams, at least a week in advance, will always be scheduled under the tab called Live on my page. So if you don't want to miss a live, 
what you can do if you go to my page, hold on, I'm on Scott's page right now. I gotta go back to my page. <laughs> if you go to my page and if you click on, let me turn down the brightness. If you click on the tab called live, it will show you like, I don't know how to show it to you guys. It'll show you like the upcoming lives. They'll say upcoming. And if you click on them, you click on notify me and it will send you a notification whenever we go live. It'll be fun. Let's hang out. Goodbye. I'll see you on Monday. I'm not saying bye to everybody. Someone was just leaving. <laughs> you started to crochet a gingerbread cow. That's so cute. I love that. And then you're making covers for your kitchen <laughs> chairs now. Ooh, roses. That'll be pretty. Goodbye, Slay. Sunflower, I go to the Tennessee Ren Fair every year. So if you ever see me at the Tennessee Ren Fair, make sure that you come and say hi. Last year, I gave out ducks. This year, I think I'm going to be making more of my duck bracelets. Usually, I only make duck bracelets for VidCons, but I think I'm going to make them for all the Ren Fairs this year, too. So I'm going to try to go to as many weekends of the Tennessee Ren Fair as I can this year. And yeah, it'll be great. It'll be great. I should do learn to knit with me videos. So I have a video that's called like learning, chaotically learning to knit as a lifelong crocheter <laughs> where like I learned how to, how to knit. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> like my knitting is not good. You are 54. Awesome. I am 31. We are all ages here in the Sunflower family. If you guys are new here, we are just a cozy, quirky group of crafters and gardeners and Ren Fair goers and this is just a safe space where we can like hang out and talk and craft. You made me smile. Well, you guys made me smile too. I'm in central time. So sorry, central time. Yes, my live streaming will schedule is always going to be posted in my about section of my YouTube as well. And like I said, my next upcoming lives, I try to schedule out at least three lives at a time. So three lives at a time will be scheduled out on my page. And I'm trying something new <laughs> tonight. So you guys have to let me know if it like works or not, I think whenever I end the live stream, you guys will be redirected to the next live, which will be on Saturday. It won't be live or anything. It'll just send you to that page so you can have the option to click notify me if you want to come to that live. I don't know. It's it's like a new feature YouTube has. I'm testing it to like <laughs> see if it works or not. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But hopefully that'll be a good easy way to um, let you guys know when the next live is going to be. Thank you for teaching me how to crochet. Oh, thank you for watching and learning. That makes me so happy. Um, let's see. How is the the Renaissance Fair? The Tennessee Ren Fair is nice. It's um, I thought it was huge because I had nothing to like compare it to. And then I went to the Michigan Ren Fair and I was like, whoa, this is huge. And then I went to the Maryland Ren Fair, which is I think the second biggest in the country. And I was like, oh my gosh. So the Tennessee Ren Fair is kind of tiny compared to like those massive Ren Fairs, but it's incredible. I love it. I love that the Tennessee Ren Fair is in the... <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I love that the Tennessee Ren Fair is in the forest because it feels very whimsical. I just laughed at the fact that somebody said that I talk a lot in the chat. I'm not upset at you at all for saying I talk a lot. I do talk a lot, but I just pictured sitting here and not talking on live. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to keep talking a lot. <laughs> You're from Michigan? Cool. The tennis, the Michigan Renaissance Festival is in a town called Holly, Michigan. Holly, Michigan. I think it's like an hour north of Ann Arbor-ish. Hello to North Carolina. Hello, hello. <laughs> you tried knitting with pencils and it didn't go very well. I'm sorry. People always ask me for tutorials for how to crochet with pencils. I don't think it's possible though. I don't have a PO box right now. I will let you guys know if I ever decide to have one again. But I don't have one right now. What time will the live be on Saturday? It will be at 2 p.m. Central Time U.S. 2 p.m. Central Time U.S. 2 p.m. is the time that I feel like is kind of the best for everyone around the world from what I could figure out. Because I think a lot of people throughout the world will still hopefully be able to be awake. My Duolingo avatar looks just like me. Thank you. I tried so hard. I even gave it little, little green glasses. I usually wear green glasses. Okay. Do I like Animal Crossing? Um, I have never really played. I played it once. I don't really understand it. I don't get it. I'm more of a don't starve and uh, Stardew Valley person. 
do I do gaming streams? I do. And that is actually what we're going to be doing on Saturday. We're either going to be doing Stardew Valley or Don't Starve or possibly Don't Starve together with Josh, maybe. So we will see. But Saturday's stream will start <laughs> by me and Josh announcing the name of the cow and the duck. If you guys weren't here earlier, Anna has been crocheting a cow and a duck and sent photos of them to the Discord. The Discord is linked at the top of the chat. If you guys want to join our Discord, make sure you stop by and read all the rules. And <laughs> Anna has given me and Josh the pleasure of naming the cow and the duck, but Josh could not be here tonight. So Saturday we'll be naming the cow and the duck. And then I think probably playing Don't Starve. It'll be fun. You can decorate. What can you decorate? <laughs> Just all caps. You can decorate. I want to know. What are we decorating? Stardew Valley is the best. I do love Stardew Valley. I like that the stakes are a little bit higher and don't starve. Stardew Valley is a very good cozy game though. Don't starve is a cozy game where like you can still die. <laughs> um, Josh is my partner. We are not married. Um, you can decorate your own island. <laughs> Y'all will know when we get married. Trust me. Trust me. I don't want to. I don't want to give any spoilers. <laughs> I don't know if you can give spoilers on like wedding content, but you just know our wedding is going to be as silly as we are. <laughs> You're crocheting a beanie. That's awesome. Why would you put such a fun activity like crochet on Monday? <laughs> Why not? Monday was like one of the days in my Discord that the most people said that they could be here. And so, I don't know. I thought that, like, it could be fun to crochet together on Monday. Because, like, Mondays kind of stink usually. And so, wouldn't it be nice to come home after, like, work or school or whatever you've done that day. And just hang out and crochet together? I don't know. I like the idea of Monday crochet. And it rhymes. <laughs> A crochet-themed wedding. Y'all. Y'all. <laughs> Can you picture a crochet-themed wedding? That would be hilarious. You're giving your room a makeover. That's amazing. $20 says that an animal will be the ring bearer. <laughs> so one of our friends wants to be the ring bear. He wants to be the ring bear. <laughs> and he wants to wear a bear costume. <laughs> and walk down the aisle with the rings as a ring bear. I think it'll be kind of hilarious. Um, <laughs> oh, that would be great. Have you guys seen that episode of New Girl? Bearer, bearer. <laughs> you wish you could come to Monday crochet, but dance at the same time. That's okay. There's always gonna be other. There's always gonna be other hangs and other lives, and I'll be crocheting some on probably Whimsical Weekend, and I'll probably be crocheting some on Wind Down Wednesdays. I just, tonight, felt like working on my flowers, because people keep commenting on that TikTok, and being like, where is it? And you guys saw tonight, it was like 45 minutes, and I only made five flowers. <laughs> I know I'm like talking and stuff, too. Can I do a painting live? That could be fun. I gotta figure out how to set it up, you know, because like, I need to be able to read your comments and be able to paint where you guys can see my painting and see me. Maybe I could do it with two cameras. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this pole. I told you I always feel bad for knitting when we do a pole in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you do a diamond painting live? Same thing with that. It's like if I do a diamond painting live, I would really want to figure out how to show you guys what I'm working on. So I want to do some Lego lives. I have some like Lego sets that are really fun. I have like the Hobbit hole, like the Shire Lego sets that I have a Grogu and I have the Mandalorian's helmet. So I think it'd be really fun to do those on live, but I really want to figure out, I don't really, I'm not very like, I, I have to figure out the camera, the tech stuff so I can figure out how to do like me, but then also what we're making. I think it'd be really cool. Split the screen. Yeah, exactly. Halfway to the side. So it's like a top down shot and then me. Easier said than done, y'all. I didn't know, like, how much went into all this streaming stuff because, like, nobody, like, talks about it usually. It's, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of things. You don't just plug the mic into the computer. This mic is running through, like, three different things before it gets to my computer. I'm like, what? It's wild. <laughs> it's wild. 
Um, let's see. If we read the Hunger Game, let you know. You may skip reading it on your own. Well, we would just be starting at the beginning. So, you know, you I don't know if you were at the very beginning or not, but <laughs> I'll let you know what chapters we're going to be doing in the in the Discord. Wait, what are leggy frogs? What you sh what should you crochet? Leggy frogs or octopi? But but what are leggy frogs? I want to know what leggy frogs are. Yes, the knitting machine lives were a lot of fun. Um, I got the knitting machine back out. That's all I'm going to say because I don't want to make any promises that I can't keep. But I think we might be getting a conclusion to a very long lived series. But I don't want to spoil anything. But hopefully. <laughs> oh my goodness. Frogs with long legs and arms. That's amazing. I love that. I love that. What do you call them? Froggy legs? Leggy frogs. <laughs> Froggy legs. Leggy frogs or octopi. Is that? The plural of octopus? That's not spelled right. Hold on. I'm just going to put octopus. <laughs> All right. What should they crochet next? Leggy frogs or octopus? My favorite animal is a giraffe, closely followed by horses. Horses are like my favorite practical animal. Like my favorite animal I've like interacted with on a, like, you know, on like a regular basis and stuff. Um, oh, I'm wearing my crochet acorn, by the way. I've been playing with it and I didn't show you guys. And then giraffes are like my favorite, like whimsical animal. Can I do a how to crochet mini octopus, please? I have to learn how, but maybe at some point. <laughs> Frogs are definitely in my like top 10 favorite animals. For sure. It's more than last time. Last time knitting was 4%. That's amazing. Well, it's more than last time. What was it this time? 12% or something like that? You feel like leggy frogs are more unique? I think so, too. Good night, 55. What's my favorite project I've ever crocheted? Definitely the temperature blanket. For sure. The, um, oh my gosh, crochet corn is adorable. Have you guys seen where people crochet, like, like an ear of corn, and it's inside of, like, the husk, and then you pull the hus husk off, and it has, like, a face? Oh, they're so cute. It's corn. It has the juice. All right, guys, it looks like leggy frogs are the winner. <laughs> All right, now we're doing a poll for roses versus lilies to see what they're going to give their mom for her birthday. Was that right? What is Con going to give her mom, their mom for her birthday? You knitted an ear of corn before. That's cool. I kind of want to make ears of corn earrings get it <laughs> and friends this is going to be the last the last poll of the night we are going to jump off of here in a minute because i am actually going to start truly winding down for the night y'all be so proud of me i am on such a good sleep schedule now and by that i mean i'm going to bed between 12 and midnight which is way better no 12 and midnight that's the same time between 12 and 2 a.m is when i'm asleep I'm in bed by like 10 or 11 and it just takes me forever to fall asleep. So I used to not get in bed until like 3 a.m. and not fall asleep until like 6 a.m. So we're doing good in 2024. All right, everybody go vote on the polls. See what Connor's going to give their mom for her birthday. I don't ski. No. We have a lot of snow right now, though. I live in Tennessee. There's not really a lot of ski skiing in Tennessee. All right, friends. Come over to the Discord if you have not already. Make sure you stop by and read the rules in the Discord. And don't forget that it is 13 plus. And I'm going to be in the Discord after this live, just like every live. Anna, I did not see the duck yet. You got to send a picture of the duck again to the Discord to make sure I don't miss it. All right, friends. I'm going to end this poll. Let's see what's going to win. Did everybody vote? Did everybody vote? Make sure you vote on the poll. What is Con going to give their mom for her birthday? It looks like... Roses! I don't know why that actually surprises me. I thought it was going to be lilies. All right, friends. I will see you guys again on Saturday for our whimsical weekend. We are going to be cozy gaming on Saturday, probably playing Don't Starve, potentially Don't Starve together with a friend. Oh my gosh, I need to go wash my hands. We made a bunch of flowers tonight if you weren't here earlier. <laughs> All right, friends. Um, come over to the Discord linked at the top of the chat and say hi. 
I'm about to end the stream. I think you're going to be redirected immediately to next stream and it will let you click the button that says notify me. That way you can get a notification the next time we go live. But you guys have to let me know in the Discord if this works because this is a new feature with YouTube that I've never tried before. <laughs> we only made five flowers in an hour. It was not good. <laughs> they take a long time to make. All right, friends. Um, I'll see you guys in the Discord. Let me know in the Discord if the redirect thing works. So I'm going to hit end stream in a second. Let me know if you get sent to the next stream to click notify me. Thanks for a calm evening. Thank you guys for a calm evening. Y'all are wonderful. All right. I love y'all. I'll see you in the discord. Bye.